Hey, welcome. I'm Helen with Floating Yoga School here at Wild Thing Yoga in Bend, Oregon. I've got an amazing group of yogis with me. For the next 30 minutes or so, we are going to play with the sixth out of eight limbs of yoga, dharana, also pronounced dharana. And dharana is focus or concentration. So we're going to play with our focus or concentration through balancing poses, through a slow flow, by noticing our breath, and just noticing where we're paying attention to, what we're paying attention to throughout our practice. You guys ready? Yes. Awesome. We're going to use one block today. If you have a block at home, amazing. If you don't, it's totally cool to not use a block or use a sturdy water bottle, a stack of books, a pillow, something to bring the ground a little bit closer to you. Cool. Let's start in a seated position on your block. So you can slide the block underneath your butt. Legs can be crossed in front of you. Your knees can be forward, feet to the side. However you can get comfortable on the block. And as always, if this is not comfortable, feel free to adjust, reposition. Find a tall spine, close your eyes. And just take a moment here to tune in. Through our practice of focus or concentration, we prep for meditation. We also help build concentration. So when we're doing things like multitasking in our day or running around like crazy, this is a really good practice in our yoga, on our yoga mat, in our yoga practice, and in our lives to find that sense of stillness, of peace, of focus. And we'll start by just focusing on your breath. So without changing it, notice your inhales and your exhales. Notice the length of each inhale, the length of each exhale. Where in your body you feel your breath, in and out. And then if it's comfortable, you can turn on your ujjayi breath, your victorious breath, which is in and out through your nose. Audible, like you're trying to fog up a mirror, that ha sensation with your lips sealed. Really nice. And this focus on breath is a really awesome way to connect body and mind and to stay present. So as you're practicing today and other yoga practices, if you notice your mind is wandering, you notice you're getting distracted, you can always bring your awareness back to your breath reconnect to that focus on your breath and find that sense of dharana or dharana. We'll take a couple more rounds of breath. You can gently blink your eyes open. Make your way to hands and knees, tabletop position. Feel free to send your block off to one side, maybe near the front of your mat. Again, if you don't have a block at home, no big deal. Find that tabletop, spread your fingers really wide. Shoulders come right above your wrists, hips right above your knees. As you inhale, lift your tailbone, drop your belly, shoulders back for cow pose, look up. As you exhale, press into your hands, tuck your chin, round your spine for cat. And then continue to move like that with your breath. Starting to link breath and movement. Find your pace, your rhythm. And notice where your mind goes. See if you can let your focus, your awareness, be on the feeling of what's happening rather than what it should look like, rather than alignment, really finding that sense of feeling of being here. Let's take one more round of movement, one more round of breath. Back to a neutral tabletop position as you inhale. Exhale to your first downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Find that nice upside down V shape and move around. You might pedal out your feet or sway a little bit side to side. Let your head and your neck be heavy and relaxed. Really spread your fingertips and press into your fingertips. Nice grace. Take a full breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, make some noise, let it go. Beautiful, one more big breath in. 
Open your mouth, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward to your hands. And as you exhale, gently step or hop to the top of your mat. Lift halfway up, hands to shins, heart forward, long spine. Exhale, fold, relax your head and neck down. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, halfway lift, slide your shoulders back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more big breath in, lift halfway up. Exhale, release it down. Rise to standing, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, place your palms together in front of your heart, Anjali Mudra, just connecting right and left sides, resetting. Inhale, float your arms to the sky again. With your right hand, find your left wrist, and as you exhale, stretch up and over to your right side, finding a standing half moon. Yeah, relax your shoulders down your back. Notice where your gaze is, so starting to play with that idea of drishti, or focal point with your eyes. See how that changes or affects your pose. Come back to center, breathe in. Switch hands, exhale up and over to your left. So left hand finds your right wrist, nice, relax your shoulders. Feel long through both sides of your waist. Beautiful, bring it back to center, breathe in, reach high. Exhale, forward fold, flat back. Inhale, lift halfway up, hands to shins, heart forward. As you exhale, bring your hands down, step back to high plank, upper push up, or a tabletop, so knees can always lower. Find what works in your body, press into your fingers and your knuckles. Shift forward as you breathe in. And lower slowly to your belly all the way down as you exhale. Elbows hug your ribs like a chaturanga, but to your belly. Yes, three baby cobras. Hands stay right by your sides. Lift your heart, breathe in, shoulders back. Exhale, lower down. Excellent, two more. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, release. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out, lower. Press to child's pose, hips to heels. Knees can be wide or together, relax your forehead down. And see if you can send your attention, your focus, into your back body. Notice how your back feels. Notice with each breath in if you can create a sense of expansion in your back. And send your attention, your focus, into the back side of your lungs. Next, inhale, tabletop, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Deep breath in through your nose. Stick out your tongue, let it out through your mouth. Again, full breath in. Stick out your tongue. Excellent, inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop to your hands, exhale. Halfway lift, create some length. Forward fold, relax your head and neck. Bring it back to standing, breathe in, hands high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Low like you're sitting into a chair. Take a little peek down, notice your toes. Make sure you can see all 10 of them. If not, weight more into your heels. Engage your low belly and then slide your shoulders down your back. Nice, Taryn. Breathe here. Notice where your mind is. What can you focus on? What can you concentrate on mentally or physically even with your eyes? One more breath in. Forward fold, exhale. Lift halfway up, inhale. Exhale, hands down, step just your right foot back and lower your right knee down to your mat. Reach both arms to the sky. So you're in a modified crescent lunge. Left ankle just below your knee. Draw your right hip slightly forward. Engage your belly button and then slide your shoulders down your back. Yes. Breathe here. Play with your gaze. So if it feels good, you might start, start to look slightly upward. See how that changes what you feel in the pose. If that doesn't feel good, you can shift your gaze back down toward the ground. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. Lift your back knee, step back to a high plank upper push up. And then downward facing dog, hips high to the sky. Nice deep breath in, flutter your lips, let it out like a horse this time. One more, breathe in, flutter it out. Inhale, bend your knees, look to your hands. Exhale, travel toward your hands, step, hop or float. 
Lift halfway up, long spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, relax, head and neck. Stand up, reach up, hands to the sky, big breath in. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart to reset. Same thing to the other side. Inhale to chair pose. And then a few breaths. Find the alignment that works in your body. We all look different. We all feel different. Notice where you can focus your attention, your gaze. Notice where you feel and what you feel in your body. One more inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, hands down this time, left foot steps back, lower your left knee down toward your mat, reach both arms to the sky, find your modified crescent, and then adjust, play with your gaze, your drishti. If your mind is wandering, reconnect to your breath. Or maybe even focus on a mantra, a word, or an affirmation, I am strong, I am stable. So nice, one more breath in. Exhale, hands down. Lift your back knee, step back to high plank, breathe in. Exhale to downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Inhale, shift forward, high plank, upper push up. Exhale, chaturanga, either halfway or all the way down. Up dog or cobra as you breathe in, open your chest, shoulders down your back. Exhale to downward facing dog. Let your knees come down to your mat, find your tabletop, and we'll take a modified side plank starting with your right hand and right knee. I like to kickstand my right foot off to the side, off my mat. Yep, that's it, Kelly. Left foot steps back, left arm reaches to the sky. So we'll all be facing the magenta wall. You can stay just as you are. If you wanna challenge it, beautiful Abby, you can float your foot. You can take your left arm over your head, create extension. Again, check in, where is your focus? Where are your eyes, your physical focus? Where is your mental focus? And what is your breath like? One more inhale. Exhale, release. Find your tabletop, switch sides. Shift your weight to your left knee, your left hand. You might kickstand your foot, right foot back, right arm up. Create that stacking sensation, hips and shoulders. Yeah, and maybe add a layer of floating your right foot or right arm extension, nice Pamela. Beautiful grace. Keep breathing. Always checking in. The awareness is part of this practice. One more inhale. Exhale, release it down. Find your way to downward facing dog. So you're more than welcome to take that vinyasa flow, the chaturanga up dog and meet in down dog. You can always skip it. So customizing your practice. And again, it might depend on what your focus is of the day. So if you feel like you want something a little bit more intense, you might add some heat. If you feel like you need a little bit of a quieter day, more gentle practice, you might skip those. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop to your hands. Halfway lift, send your chest forward, slide your shoulders back. Exhale, fold. Stand up, reach up, big inhale takes you there. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Close your eyes and take a moment to really find your stance. Shift a little bit forward and back, toes to heels. Play with that sweet spot of balance between both feet. Blink your eyes open and find a steady gazing point. So it might be out in front of you. It might be something in front of you. If you're watching us, make sure we don't distract you. Shift your weight to your left foot, bring your right foot up for tree pose. So right foot to left ankle, calf or thigh. Just avoid your knee joints. And if you'd like to play with balance, you can reach your arms overhead. You can even try looking up or closing your eyes. Stay with that focus, one point. Steady eyes, steady mind. Stay with your breath. Bring your palms back together in front of your heart if they're lifted. Draw your right knee forward like you're taking a big step. Lift your foot, breathe in. Exhale to warrior three. Send your foot back, your heart forward. Hands can stay at heart center. Reach wide, reach forward. Play with balancing, yes. Try to drop your right hip. Lift your heart, think up dog through your chest. Nice, Clara. See where you can challenge your focus. 
Shifting your gaze, shifting your arms. One more inhale. Exhale, big step back to crescent lunge, right foot to the back of your mat, both arms to the sky. Take one full breath in, and exhale, open to warrior two. And typically, in a traditional warrior two, heels are in alignment or front heel to back arch. You can see your left big toe, so make sure your knee's not collapsing forward or in. And then normally we look over our front hand. So if that gaze, that drishti works for you, you can stay there. Or you can play with looking back to the side, seeing how a different gazing point changes your focus or changes the feel of this pose. Beautiful, Haley. Keep your strong legs. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stretch it up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step back to downward facing dog. Feel free to move through the flow, your chaturanga up dog or cobra or simply skip it. Full breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, let it go. One more like that, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, bend your knees, look to your hands. Exhale, step, hop, float, top of your mat. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise back to standing, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. And again, a moment to reset. So adjust your stance, your clothing. This may be the time you reset your focus. Find that moment of concentration on something. And when you're ready, we'll do the same thing to the other side. Weight shifts to your right foot. Left foot comes up for tree pose, rikshasana, ankle, calf, or thigh. You can challenge your balance, challenge your gaze. Notice where your mind goes. Notice how a different gazing point affects your balance. You be okay with falling out, working that edge. Awesome, Jillian. Two more rounds of breath. Bring your hands together in front of your heart if they're lifted. Draw your left knee forward like you're taking a big step. Breathe in. Warrior three as you exhale, send your foot back, your heart forward. So find your balance. Once more, challenging the sense of stability working focus, concentration. Maybe you feel rooted through your right foot, find that connection to the earth. Lifted through your heart, find that length through your spine. Nice, Kelly. Big breath in. Exhale, step it back to crescent lunge. Arms to the sky, take just one inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, open to warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. And again, first find the physical position. So allow that to be there first, the asana, the seat or pose. And then see if you can tune in. Find your drishti, your gaze. Do you wanna look forward? Do you wanna look sideways somewhere else? Find something to tether your mind to. Your breath, a feeling, a word. One more round as you are. Inhale, reverse warrior stretch up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Find your way to downward facing dog. And please know that child's pose is always an option. It's a beautiful one, a nice place to reset. Reconnect to your breath, your focus. Check back in. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop toward the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. And find your block if you've got one, hopefully it's near the side of you. Place it just at the front of your mat on the tallest setting. So we're gonna prep for a half moon pose. So if you know the distance, you like your block for half moon, somewhere in the middle is good and we can always adjust. Take another halfway lift, breathe in. Heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale, fold, let it all go. 
Rise to standing, reach your arms to the sky, big breath in takes you there. Exhale, palms together in front of your hearts. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. We're gonna take this to eagle, starting with your arms, wrap your right arm below your left like you're giving yourself a big hug. If you wanna stay with chair legs, that's beautiful. If you want your legs, right leg up and over your left, squeeze your inner thighs. Toes can always tap down. Gaze is important, so find your drishti, find that focus. Breathe here. Do a scan of your body, a check-in with your breath and your mind. Where's your concentration? Fantastic. Inhale, unwind one-legged Tadasana. This time reach your arms to the sky, right knee like you're taking a big step. Exhale, warrior three or airplane pose. Leg back, hands can either reach forward to further challenge your balance, reach to the side, or always come to your hips or to your heart. Imagine you're pressing your foot back. Focus your heel into the back wall, your heart into the front wall, nice. Big inhale. Standing splits as you exhale, hands to the ground or to your block. You can always bend your left knee. Really nice options. And then we're gonna work standing splits to half moon. So create a little bit of length through the sides of your waist, fingers forward, left hand toward your block. Start to peel open your right arm, your right shoulder, your right hip, so that your belly faces one side of the room, your back the other. And it may not be perfect. We're playing with the balance here. Activate your back foot. Find that edge. Notice your gaze. Down is a little bit more stable. Sideways and up, a little bit more challenging. You got it, big breath in. Exhale, step it all the way back to warrior two. Right foot to the back of your mat, left knee bends. Stretch your fingertips out long. Inhale, reverse warrior stretch up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Back to down dog, any way you'd like to get there. And then just one more side. Inhale, bend your knees, look to your hands. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Stand up, reach up, use your inhale to get there. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Back to eagle, starting with chair. Inhale to chair pose, sit low. And then left arm below your right, left leg up and over your right, Garudasana. See where you can create more stability. See where you can focus on rooting and then lengthening, creating space. Two more full rounds of breath. Inhale, unwind, float your arms to the sky, left knee high. Exhale, warrior three, foot back, heart forward, arms wherever they help you balance. So just like your gazing point, sometimes your other body parts help you find that balance. Engage your core, hug your inner thighs. Strong center, focusing on that powerhouse to keep you balanced. Nice deep inhale. Standing splits as you exhale, hands to your block or to the ground. Right knee can bend as much as you like. Feel the stretch and the length in the back of your legs. And then start to work toward half moon artist and draws in the right fingertips to your block. You might scoot it a little bit forward to create length through the right side of your waist. You're gonna peel open your left hip and shoulder. Notice where your gaze is, where your focus is. Activate your back foot, lift it a little bit higher, yeah. Another breath in. Use your exhale to step back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, stretch up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step back, feel free to move through vinyasa or meet a straight back in child's pose. So as you're ready, knees down together or wide, hips to heels. 
Relax your forehead. Any variation with your arms is nice in child's pose. They can be forward, they can be around your side like Kelly. They can be palms together, a little shark fin at the back of your head to find a tricep stretch. Nice, Clara. Check in. Where's your breath? Find your way to a seated position. So you can move through tabletop, legs out in front, bottom on the ground. And then we'll take one boat pose. So plant your feet on your mat, knees point up to the sky, hands behind your knees, engage your core. So try to suck your belly button up to your ribs, lean back slightly, and then float your feet off the ground, one at a time or both at the same time. Hands can stay right behind your legs. You can reach wide. If you want to challenge it, reach your arms to the sky, legs straight. Find that same connection to concentration focus. Maybe it's on your core, fire in your belly. Maybe it's on your breath. Maybe it's on knowing how strong and capable you are. Take one more breath in. Excellent, exhale, release it down. Reverse tabletop, hands behind you. Fingertips point toward you if that's okay on your wrists, otherwise they can point away. Press through your feet and your hands. Lift your hips, create a stretch through the front side of your body. And I like head in line with spine. Some people like head back. Find what feels good in your neck. Breathe into your front side, your shoulders, your chest, your belly. One more inhale. Exhale, lower yourself down. Scoot your bottom a little bit forward. We'll make our way to our backs. So however you want to gather, either roll down or simply plop it down. Knees to chest. Gentle rock side to side. Massage your low back. And then any last movements that you like before final Shavasana. This is a little mini practice, only about half an hour total. So you may like a twist, you may like a happy baby or a moment to check in. And through this practice of tuning in to your focus, maybe you found an area of your body that was talking to you that needs a little bit more love. As you feel ready, and there's never a rush, find your way into any comfortable position for final Shavasana. Come back to that awareness on your breath, that focus of your inhales and your exhales. See if you can send your breath, concentrate it into one area of your physical body. And then really allow yourself to just be here for the next couple of minutes. I'll play a couple of the singing bowls. As you hear them, pay attention to where your awareness, your focus, concentration drifts in your physical body, in your mind, in sensation, whatever comes up. Just noticing, just being.
Notice your breath again. Add small movements, little wiggles or stretches. You can reach your arms up over your head, extend really long. And with your eyes closed, turn to one side, doesn't matter which, knees to your chest. Press yourself to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed. And place your palms together in front of your heart. One last time, check in. If there's something you'd like to bring from your practice today, maybe that sense of concentration or focus on one thing. Maybe there's a word or a feeling you'd like to take from your practice into your life. Let that come into your heart space. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, send it out. We'll bow our heads together. Namaste. Thanks guys, feeling okay? Fantastic, awesome.